Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. Okay, the bottom line here, when, when you come here, you gotta understand, you just can't come alone. This is truly going to the, to the ultimate extreme on a bear hunt. Gonna be late, Ralph. Welcome to this week's The Choice, and this week, well, our choice is simple. Yeah. Head northwest. Yeah, we're gonna head up to Trophy West out there. British today. Columbia, mm -hmm. Vancouver Island, big black bears yeah. roaming the island, waiting for islands. us. Islands. Because we were on a bunch of little islands. But there's no Z in it. No, it's, it's an islands. S. Yeah. Islands. We are ready to head up, visit Glenn, Shannon, and all the boys up there. And we're, I mean, this is, we're going on the knit nat again. This is the boat hunt. This is the one that, I mean, it's like the premier bear, black bear hunt. What was that for? Nothing. Do you not like that hunt? I love that hunt. Okay, then why are you making fun of me? Nothing. Should we just get going? Who's up first? Oh, I think I'm up first with my brown and cross golf. I'm just saying. You know, it's easy to get pumped up when you know you're going to a spot that you've gone to multiple years, like probably over 10. And not only do you have a great experience, but you have the ultimate, ultimate bear hunt. It's great to be back up here in BC with the guys and with Shannon and Jeff and Glenn and Ken and everyone else. I mean, it was just, it's, it's like home. It feels like we're coming back to a place that we know and we enjoy being here. Well, we just got here with Trophy West in BC and we can't wait. We got the browning, sighted that, or just really took a couple shots. That was it, huh? Yeah. Two shots? Yeah, two, take two shots, scopes on, we're ready to go 300 win mag, and now we'll just make sure that the crossbow our, was sighted. Our in. browning crossbow's ready to go. Notice it is the max one. Whatever, Vic, whatever. Do you want to shoot it? No, go ahead, I shot the 300, just shoot this. We had our bog pot for steady rest, and 40 yards, we're in the heart. With weapons sighted in and gear in place, the crew is ready for the hunt. We got in yesterday, um, got all of our gear, repacked it because every the guys took all of our most of our gear to the boat because we're gonna there, about an hour drive to get to the landing, and then from there we have to cross the straits, which is could cr a little bit crazy if the wind's bad. There's no wind, home, so, so it's yeah. It should be a smooth ride across the straits because yesterday it would have been. Horrible. Yeah, it'd have been a bad day. I'd have been ralphing it pretty good, but uh, we're not gonna. So I'm happy. Um, you know, we're gonna go have breakfast, and then when the guys when the guys call back to Glenn, Glenn will take us out to the landing, and our adventure here, at Trophy West, will begin. The ultimate bear hunt on the boats, the big boat. Well, here we are. We're at the dock, Trophy West, British Columbia. Yes. And, and I'm telling you what, the boat, the little Grizz is coming in. Yep, it's coming to get us, and we're actually going to hunt on our way back out. And they actually the spotted a bear, right? I mean, they spotted the, a bear that we're going to go check back out and see if it's big enough. Yeah. See, you know, make sure it's a boar and everything else like that already on the shoreline. The tide is out, getting ready to actually, it's starting to come back in now. So we're going to hunt till, I guess they said, to about 1.30 or so when the tide is high. And then we'll give it a couple hours. We'll go back to the knit net, have some lunch, and then um, head back out this afternoon for more hunting. So what's really cool is when you're hunting here is, I mean, we've said it numerous times, is this is the ultimate bear hunt. You've, you've done all the other types like we have with the bear, but this is it. You literally are living on a boat. You're catching prawns, crab, halibut, and you're enjoying an experience in all of this. And I mean, this is what it's about. And this is so cool. We weren't on the boat for, heck, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and we saw a sow with a cub, which was really cool to see that in the middle of the day and be able to witness it. Within uh, 15 minutes after we saw that sow and cub, we spotted a nice black bear. We're going up to it, we're looking at it, and the guys actually at first were kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know, but it was kind of in a hole, and all of a sudden it comes up out of the hole, and we're looking at it, and we're taking, you know, we're filming it, and they're like, no, no, we need to get out of here. That's a big bear, we need to put a stalk on him. We're gonna see if we can get back up on that bear. He's a little bit better bear than we had anticipated that we spotted. We actually just got up closer so we could take some pictures and some film. 
then we've decided that we should actually go after him. So we are going to grab our Browning crossbow and see if we can't get a stalk up on him and see if I can't get a bear down before we ever make it to the knit net. <laughs> We took, the, we took the Inlet Grizz, went around to where we could get our wind in our favor, grabbed that Browning crossbow, and the hunt's on. We're gonna go and do a stalk up on the rock. First time out here in a couple years and up on them rocks, and you gotta get your, your legs back to climbing on them rocks and trying not to fall. Well, we spotted a good bear. We haven't even been in the boat for 45 minutes. Unbelievable. This is why we say this is the ultimate bear hunt. We were, I mean, we went on the shoreline, try to be as quiet as possible. It is impossible to be quiet on all the shores. All those little shells all and the, all that. All the, the barnacles. Poppers. Yep. Yeah, the, then you have the popweed and everything else, and it's almost impossible to be quiet. And now you have me walking with my Browning crossbow. We've got Jeff, Ken, you. I mean, we have everyone behind us, and you're trying to be as quiet as possible and get as close as you can to this black bear. Well, we got up to 42 yards. I crawled up in front of Ken, set myself, got myself anchored. Just, you know, I wasn't using my bog pod just because the way the rocks were at, I didn't have the opportunity to. I just rested my arm on my knee and that bear came a hair bit closer, gave me that broadside shot. There's a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought my shot might have been an air hole, but then oh, I know. that new Spitfire double cross. Wow. That blood trail was wow. Crazy. Well, this was a really fast hunt here for Trophy West. We aren't even out an hour. We saw a sow and a cub already. Tide's low. We're hunting on our way to the knit nat to where we're gonna be staying on the boat. And um, they said, we're gonna hunt our way back. The tide's out, it's a great time to be hunting. The winds have been howling for the last few days. It's calm out there right now. And uh, we saw that first sow and cub, and then we came around and we spot you guys spotted this one. And both you guys, I mean, no, we're misjudging him. Yeah, we, 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 let, let's go put a stalk on this one. So he's it's like, bigger. grab that browning crossbow, let's go and do this. And we got up and, you know, you asked me how far can I go? And I'm like, 50, but closer is more comfortable. More comfortable. And we got to, he was 42 yards. Actually, he's probably a hair closer than that because he came a little bit more. He's actually probably just under 40 yards. Yeah. I, you guys, I can't thank you guys enough. And unfortunately, oh. Glenn's not here with us to celebrate, but we know that he's here in spirit. And yeah. he is, he will be so happy to know that we have a bear down. Well, and we have his son here. We have Jeff. Jeff, Jeff oh. is, you know, he's going to replace Glenn this week, but he's nothing like his dad, so it's all good. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll have <laughs> we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it, Ken. You gotta have fun, and when we go there, like everywhere else we go, boy, it just, it's an atmosphere that you just love, huh? Yeah. And I mean, the people are gold. The hunting, the, 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 the adventure, the excitement, the adrenaline, everything about it is just top. It is. It's, it truly is the ultimate bear hunt. Okay, the bottom line here, when you, when you come here, you gotta understand, everybody, and I mean everybody, is here to make the ultimate experience. And it's not just from when, you know, when you're on the hunt, it's, it's everything. And when you get to the Knit Nat and, and Matt and Shelly, and they, they, they treat you like absolute gold. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's truly an experience that, you, I mean, you don't know, you just can't come alone. Man, you got to bring the wife, or the wife's got to bring you, because this is this is truly going to the to the ultimate extreme on a bear hunt. 
Next morning, we're up and at it. Breakfast is getting served, coffee is being drinking, and it is time for us to get our butts back out on that inlet grizz and go look for a bear for real. I mean, these guys, this is what they do. They know the peak times of activity and they make it happen for you. Good example, yesterday we saw coming into the Nitnat, we were we saw three bears, saw a good boar, Vicky shot him. When we're uh, out in the boat and looking for bears, we're, we're looking for uh, a good sized bear and then we'll have a look at it. And we're looking for boars, we don't shoot sows. We'll evaluate it, um, we're looking for width between the ears on the head. We're looking um, broadness across the shoulders, flat across the back, height, length. Um, it's a lot of variables to determine uh, a good boar from a small boar. You know, I think one of the things that we enjoy up there, and you could be on the shore, or you, I mean, you could be on the main hunt, the main, you know, the right. main lodge, or you could be on the boat, but you're always gonna have fresh seafood. Yeah, Dungeness crabs, prawn, and if it's in season, halibut. Oh my gosh, just for the halibut. Just for the halibut. Can we help you? Oh, yeah, you wanna get a workout? We're crabbing. Oh, it's right here, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Look at this, guys. We got three. Three keepers. Just gonna check them. They're Made hard as all can be. They're what? Hard shell, which is good. Female. Throw her back. Yeah. See That's the difference? There. No. We'll look. See this? How wide yes. it is and how long and narrow it is. Okay, so do you see that, guys? Here, look at how wide and yeah, that's a female. And look at the difference. Wide? No, you see the difference here. This is getting burnt. Just checking. See, this sort of looks like a um a boy's yeah, and this makes it look like the girl. Change of plans, because the guys know how the the tide's going in and out and it's not gonna be a real conducive night, one with the wind, two with the tide on the water. They went to a major extreme as they do every year for all their clients, and they got a truck up here, and we're taking a logging road to get to a spot. Pretty cool. Now, from where, we, where they parked, then we gotta do a hike, gonna get in and we're gonna overlook this beautiful, like grass, marshy field. It's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I get the hairy eyeball every time I make any noise whatsoever when I am out in a stand or hunting. For whatever reason, Ralph gives me this look like he's gonna kill me. I'm sitting there very quietly with a camera waiting to film, and Ralph and Jeff are cracking up. They're giggling, they're snorting, they're making all this noise. Okay, I gotta tell you, honey. He's picking on you. He's picking on you. Do you ever have that where you Somebody says a joke and you cannot get it out of your head and you start giggling and start laughing and we're covered. We're, I'm, I'm choking, I'm, I'm plugging my ears and I can't look at Jeff. I, I don't want to listen, I don't want to hear him start giggling because if he's giggling, I start giggling. And I, I mean, it, we were given the, the dirty eyebrow like this to everybody else for making noise. And then all of a sudden, he and I are sitting there giggling like, like two little girls. <laughs> And then Kenny gets into it. I mean, so, so now all three of us are sitting there laughing. Ken and Vicky are sitting there going, they're doing this to us, you know what I mean? But, but the crazy thing was is all of a sudden we just calmed down and we waited about another 30, 35 minutes. And Ken says, you know what? I'm just gonna go around, just go around and just check. He walks 15 steps, 20 steps, looks, that means don't move, <laughs> yeah. So now, now game on, man. All the giggling stop, you're sitting there and trying, and I mean, the guys, the, our position was perfect. Wind and everything. We were in the right place at the right time.
And Ken says, you know what, I'm just gonna go around, just go around and just check. He walks 15 steps. That means don't move. Vicky probably said this, you know, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to get a lot of action in and we, you know, we're hunting with, with our, with our, with our rifles and our crossbows and we're trying to see and each particular hunt dictates, you know, what, what, what we're going to choose to go with. And you know, if the bear's in the right position and, and the guys can read the terrain and say, hey, we could move up, the wind's in our favor, we can get up and you know, we could possibly make this a crossbow shot. If they see that it's not and it's the, one of the particular boars they want us to take or try for, you know, they'll say, well, you know, maybe you need to grab that brownie, so, you know, the rifle. So, so we, it's up to them to tell us. And we're, we're Vicki and I are always ready to go. It doesn't, our, our choice is let's just go hunting. Our position was perfect wind and everything we were in the right place at the right time creeped out jeff took me i followed jeff right to this log got situated he told me the range and you know no that's what's so cool is you work in unison with each other you guys are right with you and they're okay they look at the boar they it's a boar it's a beautiful boar he's six four six six we need to take him i'm there and i'm thinking <laughs> Okay, don't screw this up, man. Just come on, take your time, recite it in. Take, breathe out. Excellent shot, Ralphie. Reload, reload, bud. Stay on him. Excellent shot. Let's just stay on him. He's down. Safety on, brother. <laughs> Trophy oh, West, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, come here, brother. <laughs> Woo! Little redemption. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Unreal. <sighs> baby. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh. This is why we yeah. come to BC <laughs> with the boys. This is just, you know, we're having fun. We're relaxing. There's no pressure. We're enjoying what this is all about. The brownie just put him down, like down. This is why we come to Trophy West. Year after year, it's just amazing. Look at the size of this boy. Look at the size of that melon. Jeff, as usual, huh? Hey. This is unbelievable, buddy. Thank you so much. Glad, Look at, glad to have you guys back after a year off. Yeah, we had a little scare, but yeah. hey, yeah. we, uh, you know, we've, Vicky took a magnificent boar yesterday, and then we made had redemption today. Um, and the guys, you know, this is what it's about. We've said it for so many years. You've gone on a bear hunt. You've gone on it. You've experienced it. This is the ultimate bear hunt. This is it. Look where we're at. I mean, it doesn't get much better days like today. No, buddy. No, it doesn't. Thanks. Hey. Thank you guys. Rock, man. Now we got to skin him, quarter him and pack them straight up. I'm glad those guys got their tens and packs. Congratulations. What an adventure. Thank you. Congratulations with you. That, Thanks. That new Browning crossbow sure did what. the job. My expo, well, you know that's going to do the job. It was crazy. I mean, every time we go up there with Trophy West and all oh. the guys, I mean, we always have a great time. And I mean, you always you have, have to be fresh prepared, crabs and prawns. Ready to hunt. When you get there, when yes. you undo your luggage, you, go, you better you be ready. You go, you in and you make sure everything's ready to go on because I'm it's telling on. you. We were still on our way to the Nat, and that bear showed up for me with the crossbow and it was like, oh my it's on. gosh, it's on. It is, but we have more too. Oh, we have lots yeah. so more. We want to thank you guys for watching this week's choice and making this choice your choice. I screwed it up again. Wow. You see, <laughs> this is, thanks for making your, your choice, choice the choice. See you next week. With more BC.